Well, hey there, friends. My name is Rachel Hall. Welcome to the Teaching Firsties YouTube channel. I'm here to help you set up and maintain your literacy stations in your classroom. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can find all the teaching videos and resources you need this year. And today I'm going to show you how your students can play some spelling adventure games. These spelling games are some of my most popular activities for your literacy centers. In the comments, I'm listing two options, one to a YouTube video and a blog showing you how to make your own spelling games, just like this one, or to my website, literacystations.com, or you can purchase these games all ready for you. Now let me walk you through the spelling adventure games. And these kind of remind me of the choose your own adventure books where you come to a cliffhanging moment and you get to choose what happens next. But instead, your students will be working their way through their spelling words to find a treasure box at the end. Now, this is the most important part about these games. When your students open the game on Google Slides, make sure they know to press the little triangle at the top that says present. That way, the links that progress your kids through the game will work properly. If you assign the game through Seesaw, the first step they'll take is to make a copy of the game and then to press the present button when they get into Google Slides. After that, the game is easy for your students to play. If you're playing this on Boom Cards, you won't have that step. You simply begin to play the game. Now the title slide will be the skill you're working on and they click so that way you know that they have the right game in front of them and they click on the map to begin. Now they'll have a picture with that spelling skill. If they're unsure of the word, there's also audio support. They'll see two choices. One is the correct spelling of the word and the other one is incorrect. And we've made sure to make the incorrect word similar enough to the correct word so your students will really need to focus on the two choices. If they choose the correct answer, they're gonna earn a gold coin and then progress to the next slide. If they answer incorrectly, it will lead them to a map that says try again. Then clicking on the map will lead them back to the same word to give it another shot. Once they work through all of the spelling words, they're going to get to that treasure box at the end. The spelling sets have all the skills you need for your school year. And these are the digital games, but also each set includes printable adventure board games that your kiddos can play together. So your students will play this by adding the cards face down on one of the mini boards that are included. There's also black and white if you'd prefer. Then they'll pick a card they'll read the word and advance their game pieces that many letters forward. You can differentiate this game by allowing them the cards with the words and the pictures for extra support or just the word card without the picture hint. This is a game that my first graders were so excited to play, either digitally or with the board games, and I hope that your students will enjoy it as well. But remember, you can make your own digital adventure games or you can purchase these sets through literacystations.com and the link to do both is in the comments. So if you like these types of spelling games, make sure to click like so that more teachers can see them too. Have a good one.